Hi there, guys. We're back. I am determined to try and make this thing work. So I've decided it works somewhat, as we can just go charging straight at it and ram it around. But it's still not 100% efficient. So I'm going to take some information from what some of you guys are saying. And we're going to go and make it vertical. We'll not touch this one. We'll leave this one kind of as a side project. And we'll go build another one. The issue with a vertical kind of vehicle is tree trunks. Uh, not tree trunks, tree branches even. So while this is over here doing nothing, we'll build another one over here. So with tree branches, we know that they pose a problem with height. If we try and build something high, we're going to end up getting an issue where we end up bumping the things around, which isn't good for us. It's not going to work very well for us. So we'll just have to see what we can do about that. I'm sure we can do something. What we've got to realize as well, though, if we build this thing quite high, we need to make it quite long for counterbalancing. Unless we make it all out of a different material. What's the weight of metal? Pretty weighty. How about if we make... We'll make the arms out of wood, but the body out of concrete. Then we've got some weight below us. So this will be... This will be better. I'm determined to get this to work. <clears throat> you know what? If we have it at the rear kind of wheel driving and stuff as well, this might work better for us. So... So, so, so. We have this and this here. That's the same as this and this here. Not there, but there. Okay. Weld them two together. Well, them two together. So we're in here. So we want this to kind of hinge. But what I'm feeling is... Do, 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 do. So I would like saw blades somewhere on here. This way. Maybe that could work. So if we've got saw blades this way on, what I'm thinking is if we have them high enough, if there's any branches in the way, they'll just nibble at the branches. I'll just see how that works. So we come all the way up here, full stack, all the way up here, full stack. Gonna bring the wheels back. Here, maybe. Okay, so that fouls, so they're going to come back a little bit more. Goes back there. That's as close as I can get it for the wheel. Okay. That's not a problem. That's not too bad at all. If I could just get on here. Wait, let me think about this, because we're going to have a collector there, and then I'm going to want... So we're going to have collectors got to fit in here somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. See, I was hoping that Wait, our resource collectors are an even number. That's annoying. They are as well. What about that way? 
So a resource collector is an even number. So we're going to have to do this all kind of even numbers. So I'll swap my seat out for a driver's seat. Just so that we've got even numbers to work with. Okay, so then this has to all change. Bear in this side. Fall over, fall over, fall over. Thank you. Bear in this side. So now we need two lengths here. And then one more. Yeah, one more for that to connect to. Okay, cool. Now will a resource collector fit there? So that will fit there, but will a blade now fit on here? Yes, it will. Okay, so that's cool. That won't fail. So we've got a resource collector. Then we're going to want a refinery. Which is now not going to be centered either. What about if we have it sideways or that way? Um, that might work. That might work indeed. It'll be a bit wider at the back, but that's not too much of a problem. That might actually give us a little bit of stability and gives a chance to be a little bit stronger. Sort of, maybe? That's seven there. There. Fill that in. Boom. Okay. So we want drive wheels and steering wheels. So do 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 make these drive wheels at the front. Wait there. Before we do any of that, controller. And then we're going to link up these two bearings here and here. So then when we press the button, we want that to close in. How far? This will let me see how far it will need to close. Awesome, they both go the wrong way. Why is that doing that? No one's going the wrong way. Number one. Why is that doing that then? Number one is set to go plus 60, so it should turn that way. It still turns out. That's different. Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. But that should be enough, looking at that. So... We come here. And here. So we want to do this all the way up, just because if there's any branches, then these things should be able to chomp on the branches. At least that's my thinking. Mm. 
So they should be able to hit any branches that are in the way. And it won't be a problem because they'll be able to break the branches off. And then they'll be able to close in and eat anything. We're then going to need a saw blade on the bottom for the tree trunk. Can we fit another one there? Yes, we can. Okay. Is that going to stop us getting too close at the bottom? No, that's the only problem we've got there. <laughs> Hi, Germanite. I don't think the trees will appreciate this kind of hug either, but you never know. It's not quite low enough. I'm determined to try and find a way to get some sort of speed harvesting going on with trees. That other one, wherever he is, is alright over there. But he's a little bit too... I mean, I was going to say he's a little bit too top-heavy and such, but he's really... He's got a lot of saw blades on him, and every time I tried to fix one problem, it kind of created another. So it didn't really work out very well. Uh, that don't put that there. I think if we get rid of that middle pipe, maybe. I mean, could use suspension. I've got sport suspension. I think that'll be all right. I honestly don't know. Well, I used to play a lot of rugby when I was, uh, I say, a bit younger. And uh, one of my key roles was catching a high ball, so I think the old skills came in handy for that, that's for sure. Wasn't something I appreciated, though. But then if we go for a little bit of length out here... I mean, this doesn't need to have this big old chunk, but every little helps. I'd also like it. It'd be nice if you could fix bearings to suspension. I think if you could do that, it'd be really nice. So, yeah, okay, that works. And we can sit back in the back and have a, a chilled seat in the middle. Maybe a little bit quicker on the old squeeze. Wait, something... Ooh, they kind of overlap each other. Maybe 60 is a little bit too much. Yeah, it is. 45 might be enough. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I bet they don't get close enough. To squish the tree in the middle, do they? I bet they don't. How many have I got? Eight, ten. Cool. 
turn it the right way around. I like to see what I'm looking at. Okay, so what do you use? If you use like OBS or Streamlabs or anything like that, I think it's pretty easy. I think it's pretty easy. What I have found is if I go onto my YouTube page where you upload stuff, you can either upload a video or create a live. I have found it easier to create a private live stream, then go into Streamlabs and start live streaming from Streamlabs. And then when you are connected to your YouTube account through Streamlabs itself, it goes... See, I don't know if OBS is the same as Streamlabs, but basically for me, I log in with YouTube and it connects to my YouTube account. And then if I click go live in Streamlabs OBS, it asks if I want to create a new live stream or if I want to use an, a, like an event or an existing live stream. So here's what I do is I go to YouTube first, I create a live stream, I set that as private. Then I go into Streamlabs and I click go live and it gives me the drop down option to select that private live stream that I've just created in YouTube. So I will click that and then I'll click go live. Then every from the from that point on is in YouTube. So what happens after I click go live in Streamlabs OBS, I then look at my uh, live streaming page on YouTube itself. It gets the preview from Streamlabs and shows it in YouTube. And then it goes, okay, we've got your information. Do you want to go live? If you do click here and then I'll go click go live on YouTube. Then I'll go into my edit and make it public. And then it's there. The only thing that I'm finding is that there is a 10 second delay. Even though all my delays are set to zero, there is still a 10 second, at least there's a 10 second delay between what happens on my screen and what YouTube shows you guys. But I think in all fairness, it's fairly easy. Weirdly enough, I do have a couple of videos on this channel from a little way back that shows how to live stream to YouTube, but using Streamlabs OBS, whether or not that is any use to you, I don't know. I don't know how close OBS and Streamlabs are. I know that um, OBS is the original and Streamlabs just kind of came in a little bit, but it is fairly easy in all fairness. There's a lot of help out there on YouTube to like direct you into the right ways and kind of the areas to do it, but honestly, it's not that hard. I think the hardest thing or the most daunting thing for me was just trying to get the audio right because what I seem to pick up on my PC and what goes out to you lot is completely different and I don't understand why or how but that's technology for you I guess So the way the live stream works, it's just like when you upload a video. So you get the options to make it, you know, a scheduled stream, which I don't really know how that'd work in all fairness. You can private it or you can, uh, yeah, you got the same options basically. Let me just have a quick look. So I can go public, private or unlisted on my three options. But obviously, you know, it's just a case of trying it and see what happens. That's what I did. Like I said to you the other day, I must have done five or six different attempts trying to work it all out and get it all right. And I'm still not sure. I would much rather connect directly to YouTube rather than sign in on Streamlabs OBS. But I don't think it's all bad. Okay, so we've got to stop the tree from falling. 
which should be easy enough. I could just get over the refine rock. Thanks, man. It's a lot of messing with, it really is. I'm also quite lucky in a way that I haven't yet, but I know of a proper like audio technician dude who I suppose if I really needed help I could get hold of and just ask for some help. But as of yet I've not needed to. Just trying to get all the filters right on the microphone so that it picks up what you want it to pick up and doesn't pick up any stuff that you don't want it to pick up. Getting the noise gate right for me is impossible. I can't set my noise gate so it doesn't pick up the clicks of the keyboard but will pick up everything I say. So I have to make a compromise somewhere. I also think that we could squeeze a couple more discs on here and not have it. I want that to close quicker again. Okay. I see why Scrapman had so much fun trying to build this sort of thing. These little trees are definitely the pesky ones. And that container is too low to reach those. Okay. Maybe it isn't. Kind of is. Sometimes it reaches it, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. I like. And then. Oh, nope. Yeah, that's the problem. I tried a few different variants when I was playing my survival playthrough. And it's just... There are things that should be not easy to do, don't get me wrong. But, you know, they should be... You should be capable to do them. But there's just these little curveballs that the game throws in the way that just doesn't let you do it. I'm going to have to off-center something here. I need to lower this resource collector, but I don't know if that's possible. I mean, it is. Ooh, is it? So, this will be interesting. Gonna be interesting. Nope, didn't want to do that. Where have I just put that there? Okay. So resource collector goes in here. Then if we take that one off. 
then if we try and weld this stuff to that stuff. It's exactly that. You've got to have these little things that cause you problems so that you can create these crazy things. That's so what we're doing. We're kind of messing up, but we're trying again to build a more effective tree harvester than the one that we ended last time with. Yeah, I'm making it in my little defensive spot. So this is where we want to connect this to. Here. Bosh. There we go. Right, okay, so... I really need to renumber where my keys are. The arrow keys and the mouse and then the WASD keys are a bit all over the place. Right, anyway. Why does that not look right? Who knows? So these two with this one. And we wanted them to go at 45. Is this still on the lift? No. So they... Why does that one squeeze in wonkily? Because of the drills? Nope. Oh, because it's going the wrong way. That's why. You know what, I think we'll connect them two up as well. I don't know if that's going to add any strength to it. As far as I'm aware, you can't see the health of the bots. So random. I wish they sorted out the controllers because these are all going plus. But if I put that, so plus should close the number one pist the, the number one bearing, but it doesn't. So for whatever reason, the number one bearing is reversed, which I don't understand. Same with the number number. No, they're right. It's just that one. Yeah, so number one and three are reversed, and I don't know why that is. Am I missing something here? Number one is to go into the green direction. But if I have number one go into the green direction to close, it opens. Same as number three. Why is that? That's backwards. Don't understand. Okay. Um, then we had the two drill bits underneath, or blades. I keep calling them bits. I don't know why. So then we've got these two bad boys under here. This will give us a little bit more depth so that we can reach anything that's on the floor. We're looking good. Okay. So that closes in, but not enough. And number two that we've not set up yet. We'll spin everything round. I'll have to check out the video, see if I can see it. I can honestly say I've not 
I don't know of any dev commands um, that will let you see the health of the bot. So whether it might be a modded, uh, what do you call it, like a mod script or something, I don't know, but it'd be worth checking out. I had this set once, I can't remember what it was, it was 36 and 50. I don't know where I know it's 33 and 50, but I don't know where I got those numbers from, but they worked amazingly well. Gotta work this out now. I can't remember. You take it easy, Gemini. Appreciate you dropping in just for the view. Was that on his latest video? I'll try and find it. Like when I get off of this and we'll have a look, see. See what it is there. Uh, see what he's saying. Right, let's go find us a tree to squeeze. Try this little white one. There's also really bad frames on this machine for some reason. I missed. I'm stuck on the tree trunk now. These tree trunks are these little ones are really difficult. They don't want to play ball at all. The only way that I can see this working is if you stagger blades underneath. I'll have to have a set that's slightly offset. So a middle set here somewhere. So they can't be there, so it's got a back one maybe. About if we do we go a bear in there. And then we're going to need a little bit of a pipe work piece. And then we're into the saw blades. That's not far enough away. Okay. So bring it back one. So now that's slightly off center. Should catch anything that squeezes through there. Because it'll hit that one. Okay, I'll have to have a look, see, see what I can find about it later on. Sounds very interesting. Sounds very interesting for sure. We're on the lift still. Whoops, a daisy, my bad. Okay, so is this going to be any better? Number two. 
spins up all of that now underneath. So that might help us get anything that we're close to. Hopefully. Uh, is that a fallen piece of wood there? Uh, I do think that the saw blades are touching the ground a little bit too much though. It does feel like they're kind of pushing us around a bit. And we're still not able to cut as efficiently as I wanted. Dang. Okay, that was better. That was better. We're sliding everywhere though. That's not good. We'll try and eat up any of this stuff that we've got on the ground. Yep, we missed it totally. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, right, so I'm not happy with the sliding that these wheels are going to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build something that I built before. And this is allegedly, and I don't know how much it works, this is one of the most it's got the highest friction it's a part with the highest friction so hopefully the theory is because it's got such high friction we shouldn't slide too much hopefully if i can find what i'm looking for I have to type it in, don't I? That's what we want. The mannequin boot. So these mannequin parts have the highest friction that you can build in a survival game. So because of this, I'm going to painstakingly take some time to build myself some boots. It'll look a bit weird, but I think it works pretty well, if you can get it right. I've seen one guy do this. It made me laugh. But it does provide a decent amount of friction. You take it easy. Thanks for dropping by. So this should allegedly give us more friction and it's quite a bit higher. But then we don't actually need it straight into that either. Okay, we can drop this down a bit. Because we don't need that shock absorber. So then what you got to do is, if we link up that one and that one, so it's two and three, and then we're going to change these to be here, and that goes to the engine. <laughs> uh, 
It'll be better once we've done both sides. When we've done both sides, it won't be so rockety. Yeah, that's fine. So this will hopefully give us a little bit more traction. I hope anyway, it might not do. Little bit um, unconventional. I'll be hit by a hay book. Back to me feet. Boots on. Come on. So that is that. Again have to link those up to that one and we'll just offset them at 30 degrees again from each other and that'll be fine link that one up to the motor make sure it's going the right direction boom interesting because it's on so much suspension it does wobble a bit yeah, and it's quick to cut it down but not quick to harvest at the base sure how to combat that because we, we're trying to build for speed here we're trying to build for the ability to just run into a forest and just destroy everything unless the only other thing I can think of is if we remove all this and this will hug Got saw blades in the ground now, that's awesome. Something we can't get out, okay. Range all game this way, you can lose things through the floor. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, what I'm thinking now... These are going to be side arms. These are going to swing around. Let's put this on the left. I don't want to... So, we're going to have saw blades on pistons that push forwards and push out. Then the side arms are going to spin around to pull the tree into it. It's kind of like what we did with the cuddler that smashed up the robots. This is going to be a similar thing, only it's going to be for trees. So, we might get away with that.
might get away with that. So what the idea here is, this will rotate out and round. So when we press the button with this, on the lift, that closes, and they can close, 45 will be good actually, and then if these close at 45, so that'll be all that wall there. Yeah, and then if we have another, okay, so if we come out one more, and uh, that's not where that should be, should be here. And then that comes out there one more, and we have one more set of bearings. Here and here, this will allow us to get around it. This is so high. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. So that we can come out here. Pickle a bearing under there. Put that back on the lift. So we're here. And then finally link that up. That controller. We'll go the last 45 with these two. Put this out of the ground. One of them's gone the wrong way. Both of them have gone the wrong way. So that's there. Have to see how this unloads. So we're there. So now if we click this. That goes round and that squeezes. That side has gone the wrong way. Is that enough of a space to grab everything that we need? I think it could be. Then we just got to fix it at the top. If I can get up, which I don't think I can. I'm going to have to build me a stairwell up. should hold that square now? No, of course not. Got to weld these two pieces that we've just put on. Hold that to that. That should hold that square now. Put these bottom ones to go in A little bit further. Off one line, maybe. 
that enables it to get close anyway so now we've got to put in a load of pistons the pistons are going to push saw blades through here somewhere which might not work looking at that it's not going to work fortunately can't get up there we go so if that's there and that's there and then that's not going to fit on there ah uh, But, can we, can we, can we, can we, so if I go from the ground level, that's as close forward as I can put that, that's nowhere, okay, so that's that plan, kind of out the window. Here's what we'll do. We'll build this bit first. Yes, that's 10 bearings. Okay. We'll go high. I do two controllers. There's only three in it. Four. Okay. So that should be 10. That's 10 there. That's 10 there. And then if you go... Another blade. Free spinning bearing. Another blade. And then that free spinning bearing is there. So that looks menacing. So we're going to have that standing upright. So that is going to be upright here. Ideally we'd want that as low to the ground as we can. So maybe we can do that. Right, then we're going to just scrub this entire front section off for the time being. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of the whole thing. Get that for free. So when all this is off, we'll try and put the saw blades on a piston. It's going to be mounted at the top. That's the only scary thing. 
the piston that's going to be mounted at the top in front of all of this lot. That's going to be some height. Plus, this isn't centered due to the fact that it's not centered anyway. It's not centered at all. So that's where that should be. Crazy. Grab that. Punk that up there. Then we've got to somehow mount that up here. Despite the fact that this isn't going to have a centre point. Piston block. And then it is piston. And then hopefully, whatever end of the block is, this end. Not seeing what this is found on. Hopefully, it's just this. And then we can put that up there. Nope. It's too close, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Not a worry. Not a worry. Try that. I think that might get it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that is mighty. And touching the ground. So the knees will spin. Starting to lag quite badly now, anyway. Well, hopefully, it'll cut the tree. <laughs> Do you think they're all spinning the same way around as well? That's the next question. They don't look like they are all spinning the same way around. In theory, one of these saws will be spinning so fast. Look how fast that bottom saw is spinning. Oh, wow. Also makes it super unstable. I 
That's slightly disappointing. I mean, not even slightly disappointing. That's seriously disappointing. I mean, it took care of the tree trunk pretty quick. Ooh, lag. Interesting. So it spins so fast on the tree, but it still doesn't break it. So if that says anything, that literally tells you that speed has no... doesn't matter how fast something spins. Just It doesn't make it any faster to chop the wood up. That's incredible, right? That is crazy. That is mad. I want to push this over. I can't push it over. <laughs> it's a whole lot of trees and not a lot of action. There we go. Would be like that. Yeah. Which it might be good for a gyro, maybe. It, it didn't turn out how I wanted to turn out. The actual hugging thing, if you skip back to earlier on in the video, the actual hugging thing kind of didn't really work. It doesn't get you close enough to the trees as much as I wanted to. So I'm going to go for something a little bit more... ...eaty. Yes. Um, that can also go. We don't need that piss. Oh, this is the problem. You can build high, but I can't get up there to take that piston out that I don't need up there now. Oh, but I can do that. That was lucky. Okay, there we go. Press fall over again, please. Thank you. At least now, though. See, this is a benefit, I guess, uh, when I work out how. There's the middle. Would be 22, wouldn't it? It would be. So that is the middle there. So then if we go over here, pull this out, uh, there, that might get us past the wheels, put this here, well that's the next plan, gonna be a lawnmower, the trees, hopefully. Dun 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 Oh, you see, now if I smart enough, I put some logic in this to control the angle of the dangle with this, but I can't remember the logic. How many we got here now? Oh yeah, you make it sound so easy. Just make something that, you know, cuts it down, holds onto it, flips it over, chops it up. Isn't that what Scrapman does? I'm sure that's what he's running. That's 10. I go 11.
Oh. Okay. No problem. We'll just put another controller down and just have them all spin and see if we can't just ramp this up to like maximum speed of utter chaos. I think if I try this on a bot, it will just obliterate anything. If I feel confident with it, I might call in a red bot or call in a farm button. See how it goes against a farm bot. I think it'd absolutely mince it. Maybe. We might get lucky. And then <laughs> for one lonely bearing all on its own. Okay, so then what's not attached to anything? That controller at the back. There, he's not connected to anything. So we can connect him to these two. And then say, when we flick that switch, because that's not really doing anything, is it? No, okay. So when we flick that switch, if we put them at 45, uh, switch number two, that one. Okay. Then this, we're on the lift. We're not on the lift. Right, this is where this comes into play. So we want all of these to go the same way. Hopefully. Okay, that has not worked at all. Oh, it has. Oh, now they're getting quicker. Look at that. Ah, oh, why is that one? There we go. So these have got to be the other way. Oh, my days. Oh, no, here we go again. I'm not losing another one. <laughs> already lost one this morning and then it started from that side this time I'm going to have to put a blank bearing in somewhere in this. Ooh, that's a bit floppy in the middle. I know what we'll do. We'll just do these individually for now. So we'll put this to this switch. Um, have I not set this up? No, I've not put it on loop. That'd be why. It's also still not spinning round. 360 on loop. Switch is on. Okay, so they are all going to have to be set up. I was hoping I could just run it off of one switch independently. Get it all going in the same way, but it seems not. Mad. Amazing. So just flicking that one bearing around has slowed everywhere, stopped everything else. No, oh, I'm not going to come back in, is it? Come on, please. One, two, three. Go 
I mean that one maybe. I think I've got trail makers, you know. If I've not got trail makers, I've got the other one. Oh no, I've got main assembly. Beg your pardon. This is an interesting one. So somewhere along the line, this isn't working properly. It keeps wanting to flip somewhere. So they're going that way around. And then they're going the other way around. Yeah, but I'm trying to find it because it's going to be a literally, it's going to be two bearings somewhere that are working against each other. It's trying to find the right ones and switching them around. And I don't know if that's going to be possible or whether I'd be better off just like if I took that bearing out completely. If I took, where has he gone? Number 10 out completely. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I'm not playing that silly game. Yeah, so they're all turning. Is that turning? Yeah, so that's all turning off at number one. So then if we turn up number two, then all this lot hurry up. No worries. You take it easy. You like? The arrows are making no sense. Saw blade one, saw blade two, saw blade three. Saw blade three is spinning, but saw blade three bearing isn't. I think if I take that one out, take that one out, and I put that bearing on that controller, so at least they're all on two controllers now. That's all on that one. That's all on that one. They're all spinning. Number 10 is not in use. That's fine. So we'll remove this and we'll remove this. So all of this side should be spinning. Why is that one not spinning? There we go. Yeah, they were all, when they were all rotating, they were all placed the same way. Think. Now you're asking me questions I'm not too sure of, to be honest. Uh, they might not have been because I had to weld two pieces together. So I made a set of ten. Then I welded it with a free bearing in the middle. Okay, so now all bearings are facing the same way. We can agree on that. Then we turn that one on. That works. I can live with that one. That one works, okay. So then if we turn that one on, it's not connected to anything. So then that one turns on. Wait, turn that one off. We'll face all these in the same direction. That one turns around. And the rest are in the same direction. Yeah, so they're all in the same direction now. Number three is not spinning. If that spins, then it's going to close down anything else. 
I think it probably is, you know. Although, weirdly, it's number two blade. <laughs> Wait, there's an easy solution to this, isn't there? If I just... If I literally just start this again... So I've got three controllers, so I could use all bearings. I build it from this way. It could be a visual glitch, uh, it could just be broke, but that should be the same system that we've got there and it's now all built from the same direction. Whether or not it works though is a different story. Did I put a bearing on there? Uh, wait, so... And it's this direction. Do, 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 do. Put that on the left. Squash ourselves underneath. Then get this end because this end is the one that we've had to put the baron on. You are joking. Is it too long? Too long. Nice to see if I've actually landed on the bearing. You think so? We'll try. So again, we'll start at this end and we'll just run it off. same direction right yeah, they're all the same direction what's wrong with it it doesn't work but it might be a weight issue it might be a bearing directional issue like my man said over there Give the free baron in the middle. Do you not think that we could force them all to go the same way? Do you think we need a free baron so they'll spin? Or do you think if they're all going the same direction, that'd work, right? Going to need a free baron, isn't it? Looking at that, yeah. <laughs> I want ultimate power. Mm. 
So you think that then? That's mental. We'll give it a go. It's working right now. Oh, the lag. Oh, my days. <laughs> I think this is too many. It doesn't like it at all. We might have to swap out one of the blades in the middle for a block to add a little bit of support in the middle to stop it sagging. Because I guess with all those different kind of sections clashing with the ground. That's what gives us a bit of a lag, because it's trying to work out all the collisions on all the different pieces. Strangely not as effective as what you'd think, you know. Or maybe it is, it's just the fact that we're now just going to push the... Why isn't that, is that bearings picking it up now? It should be lifted. Don't tell me it's too heavy now. That's number two. It's because it's not connected, that's why. No, wait. That's number two. Well, that controller's on loop, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be why that's not working. There we go. Right, so, let's go find me a tree. The blades are spinning. Okay, that's pretty quick. Still stuck on the trunk, though. Lower it to the ground, just to be sure. It works the only the only problem is obviously when you lower it down to get anything that's on the floor you're then just pushing the bits that you've kind of broke up around because they can't get to the refiner plus this thing is sliding everywhere still Might change out the front wheels for some feet or some blocks. Oh, I tell you, they're super effective actually. What about? What about? Didn't want to take that apart. So our problem now is a refinery, right? So what about if we have the refinery? Well, one, we could move it further forwards, but the reason why it's that far back is because we had to mount it that low. Now we get rid of these wooden pieces, they're not needed. So we try the far refinery but there. Then if that can collect stuff from the front, then all is well. Helps if we're off the lift. So we'll angle that down. 
and we've got the blade spinning. Chop this up. How's it going, my friend? Yeah, so the refinery uh, resource collector cannot reach the front of that. So what we're going to have to do here is we are going to have to have this on a pivot. So we'll have this on an arm. So we want an arm somewhere here, maybe. That can swing the resource collector out. Greetings to all newcomers. Thank you for dropping by. Wait, I've got to find an equal distance between the front of this and the back of this. So if we go from here to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 blocks. So we want to be, yeah. <laughs> so we want to build this pivot here. Hopefully, this might not work. I'm just going to say that now. Let's not everybody get too excited. It might not work at all, especially if I can't reach. Thanks for the subscribe, I really appreciate it. Ooh. Okay, so then if we do this, and then we do this, that didn't work. Need a little bit of ground that's not going to swallow the pipe in there. No, that one up there, and I want to take the pipe off. So that I can get to the weld tool to weld this in the corner. Which it's not going to let me do what it is there. Then I want to weld this up here. That way around there. Okay, now the big question is, is this going to swing? Is this going to reach? Oh, that's an even smarter shout. Reverse the blades. I'm glad you lot are here because I would not have thought about that until I'd have got really frustrated with this. That is a very clever shout. That is a very clever shout. The simplest ones are the best ones. Gonna have to tie this down now. Uh, now we'll remove this. We'll put that over there for now. Still might need that. Okay, now we're laughing. That's in the wrong place. Now we need me. Crash down. Yep, okay. So, like our smart guy over there says, spin that towards us. Uh, let me remove this concrete from the floor as well. That's the smartest thing anybody has ever said. Okay. So with the blades are spinning on the ground, and if we go up to something that's already down, now it still pushes it. When the blades are down, it still pushes it. That's annoying. The blades are spinning towards us.
It's because they're spinning up and over. So even before, when they were spinning under us, it still wanted to push it. Okay. Back to square one. We'll try the old swingy arm. So we were somewhere here, weren't we? Let's remove that. Do you think they'll slide underneath? Slide this out of the way for now. Uh, this one for now, just to move this out of the way. Yeah, so that's out of the way. Okay, so you would think if we adjust the angle slightly, we'll be better off. One block clearance. Okay. Uh, it's probably about 15 though now, look. Let's give that a run. That might have got it actually, because it's not popped through the other side. No, it still does. Okay, a bit more of an angle. Oh, wow. We're at five degrees and we're still pushing them around. <laughs> See, if we go dead flat, dead flat might be enough, but the thing there is if it's dead flat, we've been driving over the top of stuff. So that's where it is. Okay, so it's not going to do it. Because we're on the wrong piston. Oh, I didn't realise there was two. Well, that's a rookie error. I'm 100% sure it's the controller to adjust. I just wasn't adjusting both of them. That was the only issue that we had there. Because I had it scrolled up to see only the number two. Rookie error. That might get it. There you go. You might be right there. Seems to be getting it now. Okay. Look at the little smart guy over there. Doesn't he know his stuff, huh? Always helps if you can see all of your uh, controllers. Hey, you got it anyway. Do a quick cleanup of the area. Did we just push that one? We 
We're still pushing it. Okay. Four hundred times a charm, right? There we go. So now they're getting underneath more reliably. Is it going to cut or is it just going to go straight over? It does still cut. Yeah, I could make it. Uh, if I make it shorter, that's just going to put more of the weight down one end, though. It seems to be working now. Look at that genius. Nice work. Okay, so we can get rid of this. Get rid of this. I wish they wouldn't make everything out of ice so it was sliding around everywhere though. Just want to take the baron off, please. Thank you. Okay. Considering the feet are supposed to have the best friction. Okay, right, let's go try this. So we can lift this up, run for a tree. Tilted down, blades are spinning. And then we've lost that one in the water. At this rate, we've lost our entire vehicle in the water, but. Well, that's why I got the boots, so I'll show you the inventory menu. So you have the boot, if you look the durability, uh, not the durability, sorry, the friction of the boot is huge. It's almost full. It's three off a of full and its weight is two and I think the cactus is the same. I was thinking spell. So the cactus friction is actually less than the boot. So that's why I've gone for the boot. Again, it's the small white trees you just don't seem to be able to get very well. The rest of it, beautiful. Any of the other woods is awesome. No, I don't apologize for it. It's easier to show you. So then you can kind of understand and see things for yourself. Like, I know a couple of the, the bigger guys have been using the cactus. I just prefer to use the boot. This game is all about preference. One little shoesies, get some grip. No, nope. not gonna happen. But like a couple of you said, we don't need to be this long anymore, so we can shorten it down as well. So if we cut out this massive middle section here and have the seat right on top of the fuel tank, 
No bad has ever happened with that idea. So we're a little bit shorter. And we're still on the lift. Great one. Uh, no, we're not. I just connected the engine, didn't I? Yeah, of course. And then this guy. This guy. Yeah. These boots were made for walking. It sort of works. It's still those little white trees, you know. I've also disconnected all the buttons as well. That's not good. Those little white trees seem to be the horror for us. I guess, I don't know, there comes a time where you just got to accept that that's what it is. front wheel drive as well. No, I am not front wheel drive as well. There we go. That might help us out a little bit more. Maybe. A lot quicker now. Okay, let's go try and find a real big tree. This is a really bad area for the trees because they're all on the coastline, which means they're all going to end up in the water. I want to know if I can tweak this depth a bit more. I want to uh, have a little bit more tilt on it. Oh, that's fair. I tell you, you can learn a lot from watching it, though. The fact that you're, you're talking about the cactuses and the boots, like, it means you've sort of seen something, you've picked up something. I think it'd be too overpowered if we added another set of tr uh, blades to the front so that we could just kind of just drive straight over the top of stuff. I'm going to try this on haybots. We're going to spawn in a haybot or two. Oh, I wonder actually, can I do it from my seat? I don't know if I can. This might spawn the haybot right in front of my face, which will be a very bad idea. Or it might spawn him in front of me, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, spawn him right on top of my head, never mind. different interesting so that didn't squash them half as much as what I was hoping it was going to do try tote pot Interesting. Is 
Does this work? No, it doesn't, but if we do that, that'll work. Has a very disappointing effect on the hay bops. When you think that we've got 20 odd saw blades here and they're all spinning. So that's them right in the middle there though on the fastest blades. And I'm in contact with them, I'm just pushing them back. And they're all spinning. I've got an idea. I'll just get rid of these. See, I've just gone straight over the top of the tote bot there. There's something about the way that it hits, it doesn't, it doesn't hit in one big bit. It kind of like bumps them in a, in a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like rolling punches, the drills are so much better. Hmm, oh wait. Oh, he's over there breaking up my concrete. I knew I should have shut the gate. This is a secure facility, my friend. You shouldn't be in here. Right, trees. That's what we were looking at anyway. Trees, 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 trees. Let's go. I'd say this is pretty good for wood, you know. But like you're saying, I think it's the, the middle where it's spinning so fast is, is kind of the best bet for it. Let me just deal with this guy. Because it is mowing through these trees. As long as it hits them. Look. I'm gonna try 15 again. See if it'll get it. Yeah, so that jumped through. This might be okay. Gone straight over the top of that one. Okay. Wait, what? Ah, oh, good eyesight. Thank you. I completely and utterly overlooked and missed that one. How did you see that? Hopefully this will work in the ember farm as well. I mean, I know I won't pick them up, but I should be able just to uh, get stuck on all the trees on the ground. That's going to be the problem now. Yep, this works.
Well, we've got a new way to clear an ember farm. Sort of. The only problem is, obviously, the trees that you can't destroy that we're going to get stuck on. Free ember for all. <laughs> nice. I wish we could destroy the tree trunks as well. That'd be nice. Nope. nope. Then we're going to get stuck here now, aren't we? Nope, we're good. Okay. Tree test. Normal tree. So what happened to the middle? We cut out a big chunk out of the middle. Is that the bit that we launched over there? Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, where's one of the big, big ones? This is nothing but embers around here now. Okay, let's try these guys, clean this area up. It's like we were in a forest. If we were in a forest, we'd probably mow them all down. And then we'll go back over and we'll chop them all up, right? Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the way that corn kind of gets in your way. I don't, I don't know if it's... I don't know what the way around that would be. Because if you make it something that you can completely flatten, are you going to have it kind of regrow so that you can get corn from it? Or, like, how are you going to... How would you tweak that so that it could still give you the corn for the cows, but get out of the way when you hit it? We're still going straight over the top of this white ones. I'm going to try tweaking this. Because if this can sit low enough so that it, like, seriously just moshes them up, I will look at having a swinging resource collector. to try that swinging resource collector. This way is good. This way is nice. If you can get it so you can just drive straight over it. If you can get it so you just drive straight over it, you kind of miss... What do you mean? How do you mean one to the front grate? This won't connect at all now. The next question is, can I put a resource collector on this? So then what we're going to say is, when we click number two, we want this to swing out. 
play that one. We want that to swing out. We want it to be 180. It doesn't matter which way it goes, I don't think. But just 180. Is that going to be enough room? No, it's not. Of course, it wouldn't be, would it? It's really not enough room at all. <laughs> we can have it drop down from the top, maybe. I mean, that'd make a lot of sense as well, but... Let's get fancy up in here. Move that back a bit. So if we put two on here. Got to be close enough to the refiner in order to be picked up by the refiner. That there is got to be three. And close enough to the floor that it gets picked up by the stuff on the floor. So if we hang it on the back like I was going to do before. That connects to the end. What are the well positions on this? There are no well positions on the side. It is just a well position on the back or on the, this edge. Interesting. And of course, that's not going to be low enough, is it? Guarantee. Nope. We'll go for an up and over. We'll go for a complete up and over. So that we can come out here. These blades have collision here. They do have collision, okay. We'll just look at just retracting the blades. That sounds like a real good idea. I'll have another thing about doing a, an up and over or a, a swinging collection at some other point. Boom. Keep it simple, right? The good old keep it simple, stupid. What happened to all those ones that we were pushing? Did we push them all in the water? No, they're there. Okay, cool. And then we lower it. We go up to what we want to dismantle. Give the tree a nudge. It falls down so fast, just on a small little nudge. But that's good. Then it's just a case of getting the timing right so that you've over the top and done it all. You want a huge tree. Okay. I know there's one over that way. Hopefully there's one over here. Yeah, there's one over there to the distance.
So blades are on, and we're currently tilted to the ground. It's gone straight away. Those two spinning bearings, the two saw blades at the very front that are the fastest, are crazy fast. Might need to widen the resource collection on this. Widen the resource collection, add two more resource uh, refiners even. Can't get an angle. got to take it easy on these things, but it does do it pretty good. I'm happy with that. Pretty neat. Maybe if we widen it up a bit. So we've got a couple more resource collectors and a couple more refine box. We're thinking so if that's kind of like middle there put this on the list put this on the lift and then we'll just widen it out and I think we're good so if we say where would it be somewhere well they need to be like similar to the saw blade wouldn't they so it'd have to be one there and put one in the middle that way and then one that way? That could work. So we'd have to bring this concrete out this far. Okay. Where's my concrete? There it is. So we bring that out that far. But I need there, won't it? Move that one, move that. So this guy sits in here. Probably there. This guy would sit. Oh, okay, the lift wasn't connected anymore. So he sat in there like that, and then this guy will just squeeze on the end of the rest of the concrete. So he's on here. Voila. Square this up. All sliding away around the feet. Okay, that's there. So then, in theory, I can fit. It's gonna be chunky. Oh, I'm gonna have to move all of the bearings and reconnect all of them up. So he's going to need to be that way, and he might be okay there. Here's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Here's what I'm thinking. If I put another one of those on this side, it won't sense anything past the kind of red light.
doesn't need that block there though. Ah, oh, joyful. All the controllers have got to move, they would. How's it going, Carlos? They're easy enough. They're, ooh, they are simply all of these, leaving one in the middle. It's cool. Leave the middle one. that all up, loop these all up. Can I loop that one? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's that all sorted. It's just one for the feet and one for the other bits. Controller number one. And go here. Could gonna be for the boots. Doesn't need to be accessible. And it doesn't really matter if a bot breaks it. We can still run on square feet. So that's not a problem. For 30. Yeah. And one more controller for the tilt. Forty-five. We might as well whack that up quick. So that's like that. The only problem that we're gonna have is with this second refiner, because if we have it that way round, this resource collector. I think it's this one here is going to be too far past it, so it's not going to be able to pick it up. Oh, I will get it. Oh, no, that's not a problem. Maybe it's the middle one then, but the middle one won't matter. Who picked up the middle one? That guy did. I mean, I was hoping it would go to the middle. Alright, well, that works. It does what we want it to do. We are a little bit heavier now. But we do have the friction on the feet, so we are kind of easier to walk around. So, I've not got a button on this set. A button for the tilt. So now we're back to where we were, we just got two refineries. 45 is now looking quite sharp. Yeah, we'll try 30. 30 might be good. I could have done that. That would have made a lot of sense. Oh, wowzers. This is not what we want. I've got two options here, and neither of them are going to be good. No, 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 no.
Okay, now we can go face him. Uh, because in theory, if I do this... Yeah. Just had to get away from that big red robot so that I could make sure that I kind of saved this just in case he breaks it. And yeah, I didn't want to spend nearly two hours making something just for one red robot to turn up and absolutely cause us pain and discomfort. But now that... <clears throat> excuse me. Now that we're happy, now that I've uh, managed to save the creation, I can go and see if this will do anything to him. Oh wow, where's he gone? <laughs> oh dear. So I didn't know that the chemicals would put you out of your seat. He's now up a tree. It's a good job we've got this machine that's here to destroy trees. <laughs> How many cows have you got? <laughs> Bless him, he thinks he's safe. Oh no, that's very bad. I'm stuck on the tree in front of me. I've got a big red robot sat on top of my vehicle. Yeah. Well, that wasn't very nice. What did he damage? He took out a wheel. Was that all he damaged? Yeah, just the wheel and suspension. Um, I don't think I've got any vehicles that can take this guy out. Unless... and it's not got any fuel in it. So I've got to spawn one in and somehow get to it to put some fuel in it. I swear that's a save. It is. It's all the way over there. No, wait. That's the other wooden one. I've got a slight problem. I mean, I have got God mood on, so we aren't going to die, but neither is he. Because I don't have any weapons. Unless we can find the spud gun. JK. It's going to take a while. Please hold. <laughs> I think it's right. I heard, um, I heard one of the bigger scrap mechanic YouTubers say... These are over, like, they're not overpowered. They're not strong enough, because all you've got to do is run, and you'll get away from him. Well, okay. So, I'm running now. I'm holding down the, the shift key, which will help me sprint. Has he stopped? He's given up. He would do. Just when I'm trying to prove something, he just gives up. I hope he did have some full damage, because we launched him. Just like that, we had another. Yeet! Oh, what? I was expecting it to launch him. 
There we go. And now he's going to blow up and take the front out. Woo! No, you're right. Half these weapons in the creative inventory don't work. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Uh, one of them might not work. And one of them might work. One of them is going to be the one in creative and one will be the, the other one. And for some reason, you can't find the shotgun either. Doesn't seem to... When you try and type it in the inventory, trying to find it is really hard. I've tried it a couple of days ago. And I was just typing everything that I could think of to name it and it just wasn't there. But alas, so I think I'm kind of happy with this. Thanks to you guys and your genius ideas. I mean, it's slightly a bit crazy. It's using 20 saw blades. And at the very minimum, two level 5 controllers, which for survival mode might not be ideal. But, I mean, it does harvest trees pretty well. It'll also do the ember trees. So, I don't know how how you'd look at it, really. It's efficient. And now that we're wider as well... Let's get out of the vehicle, shall we? Free up an inventory slot. We can get rid of... Get rid of the refiners and the chest. So, if I do... What is it? Shotgun. I do not have one. It's, it doesn't spawn it. See what I mean? I've just typed it three times and there's nothing there. I do not have a Discord, no, sorry. I don't know about you guys, but I think that that has been a somewhat successful day of just trying to find different ideas upon Scrap Mechanic. I know we've been very focused on wood stuff today, but that's because I think when it comes to stone, stone breaks quicker, it breaks easier, and for the most part, there's our wrecked survivor, for the most part, stone is a lot easier to make a machine about because it's just the nodes the rock nodes are really easy to kind of overcome the only issues that people have got with them is the fact that sometimes they're on a hill and it can be a bit awkward but other than that they're not too they're not too bad at all but i'm feeling i'm just going to blow this one up and we'll call it a day there so we'll just get our favorite type of removal device and just give this a nice little uh, send off shall we say make sure we cover all of the parts nicely no it doesn't I don't know why it doesn't it's never worked in any of the worlds that I've tried and I don't know why uh, the command to use the dev commands is all the same do the same as everybody else but for whatever reason the spud shotgun command doesn't work okay well I think that'll be enough oh crumbs I didn't want to do that yet <laughs> yeah don't jump on the explosive barrels they explode but it has done what we wanted it to do. It's removed that, right? Uh, I'll go remove the one at the bottom. And I hopefully won't set it off this time. We'll have a little bit of a show. And then I will get out of here. And leave you guys to the rest of your days. Whatever you have planned. Hope it's something exciting. 
It's just the easiest way to get rid of a lot of blocks. And I've ragdolled by jumping out of my car whilst parked in a tree. Okay. But yeah, exploding stuff is the easiest way to get rid of all of the blocks so that you don't lag so much. <laughs> Ooh, lovely we can get underneath. That'd be nice. Don't jump on the block. Do not jump on the block. Okay, right. Let's jump. Nope. No, nope. I'm going to get myself stuck and end up blowing it up, and I don't want to do that. I think that'll be enough, won't it? We'll just take a walk over here. Retreat to a nice safe distance. I think that'll be safe enough. Right. I'll catch you guys another day. Take it easy and uh, bye for me. That was a very good idea. I might look into that. See you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye, guys.